Hello and welcome to our lesson for quarter two, week six, models and algebraic methods. Here is our most essential learning competency and reference. Let's start with the first one, which is multiplying binomial by a binom binomial. As we have learned last time, we use FOIL method to multiply binomials. So F stands for first terms, O for outer terms, I for inner terms, and L for last terms. So for example, if we are given the product of X plus 3 times X plus 2, so the first thing that we have to do is to list down the first terms, outer terms, inner terms, or last terms. Or you can use markings such as this. So first terms are X and X. Outer terms are x and 2, inner terms are 3 and x, and outer terms are, or the last terms are 3 and 2. After that, we can multiply. So x times x is equal to x squared, x times 2 is equal to 2x, 3 times x is equal to 3x, and 3 times 2 is equal to 6. We combine similar terms. 2x plus 3x is equal to 5x. Then we write the, the final answer, which is x squared plus 5x plus 6. Here is another example. We have the quantity x minus 4 times the quantity x minus 3. So again, we list down the pairings. And then we multiply. x times x is equal to x squared x times negative 3 is negative 3x, negative 4 times x is negative 4x, and negative 4 times negative 3 is equal to 12. We combine the similar terms negative 3x and negative 4x, and the result is negative 7x. Combining them together, so the final answer is x squared minus 7x plus 12. Now we continue with the product of the sum and difference of two terms. So for this method, so for instance, we are given two binomials and the first and second terms are the same. However, the operation is different. Let's say, for example, the first term is addition and the second, um, the first multiplier is addition and the second multiplier, the operation is subtraction. So let's try to use first the FOIL method for us to see the result. So those are the combinations. So a times a is equal to a squared. a times negative b is equal to negative ab. b times a is equal to ab. b times negative b is equal to negative b squared. So given that, when we combine this outer and inner terms, the result for that, the answer is zero. So basically, we just have to um, square the first term minus the square of the second term when we are given this type of a problem. Okay, let's see that in our example. So for example, number one, we are multiplying the quantity 2x plus 7y times the quantity 2x minus 7y. As you can see, they have the same first terms, which is sec um, 2x and the same second term, which is 7y. The only difference is the operation. So in here, it is addition. Here, it is subtraction. So instead of using the FOIL method, which is a long um, solution, we can use this model. Okay, we can use that by squaring only the first term and the second term with the operation, which is um, subtraction. Okay, so 2x, the quantity squared, minus 7y, the quantity squared. So 2x, the quantity squared, is equal to 4x squared. And 7y, the quantity squared, is equal to 49y squared. So that is our final answer to this example. Example number two, we will multiply the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 3. Again, they have the same first and 
second terms, but this is addition and this is subtraction. So we identify first the first and second terms, which is x and 3. Then we square both. We get the difference of the square. So we have x, the quantity squared, minus 3, the quantity squared. So we have x squared minus 9. That is the answer to example number 2. For example number 3, we have the quantity 3y plus 5 times the quantity 3y minus 5. So the, our first term is 3y and our second term is 5. So again, using our model, so we just square the first term 3y and minus 5 squared. So the result is 9y squared minus 25. So you can see these methods are um, very useful because you don't have to use FOIL method, which is a longer process. We continue with letter C, square of binomials. So here are our models. So when we are, we have this example, so x plus y, the quantity squared. So if the binomial is squared, so you just have to square the first term plus that um, twice the product of the two terms plus the square of the last term. However, if it is subtraction, so we have x minus y, the quantity squared, the only difference is that the second term or the sign of the second term is negative. Okay, let's look at the examples. So example number one, we find the product of a plus 3, the quantity squared. So we use this method. The first step is for us to square the first term. Or let us list down first the first and second term. The first term is a, the second term is 3. So there, we square the first term, which is a squared, and then 2 times a times 3, and then plus the square of the last term, which is 3. We simplify. So a, the quantity squared, is equal to a squared. 2 times a is equal to 2a times 3 is equal to 6a. And then 3 squared is equal to 9. So that is it. That's our answer, or that's the product of a plus 3, the quantity squared. Example number 2, we have 3a plus 5, the quantity squared. The first term is 3a, the second term is 5. So we square the first term first, which is 3a, plus 2 times the product of the first and second term plus the square of the last term. So we have 9a squared plus 30a plus 25. That is the answer to example number 2. For example number 3, we are going to find the product of x minus 7, the quantity squared. So this time it is subtraction. That's why the sign of our second term will be negative. Okay. So again, we list down or we identify the first term and second term. The first term is x, the second term is 7. And then we follow this model. So we square the first term minus 2 times the product of the first and second term plus the square of the last or plus the square of the second term. So x quantity squared is equal to x squared. Negative 2 times x times 7 is equal to negative 14x and 7 squared is equal to 49. Therefore, x minus 7, the quantity squared, is equal to x squared minus 14x plus 49. For the fourth example, we have 3c minus 2d, the quantity squared. Again, we use this method. Our first term is 3c. Our second term, term is 2d. So we square first this first term minus 2 times the product of the first and second term plus the square of the second term. The result is 9c squared minus 12cd plus 4d squared. So that is for the square of binomials. Move on to the last.
last one, which is the cube of a binomial. This time, we use this model. So if we have a binomial that is cubed, let's say, for example, a plus b, the quantity cube. So we are going to use this model. The same for um, two binomials with um, the difference of cubes, okay? As you can see, that only difference is the signs of the second and last term. So if it is positive or if it is addition, so all of the terms are positive. But if we are getting the difference of cubes, so the sign of the second and last term are the first, the second and last terms are negative. Okay, let's look at the examples. So for example number one, we have to find a product of the quantity x plus 5y or x plus 5y the quantity cube. Here is the model that we will use and we list down or we identify the first and second terms. Our first term is x, the second term is 5y. Okay, using this model, so we cube the first term and then 3 times the square of the first term times the second term plus 3 times the first term times the square of the second term plus the cube of the last term or plus the cube of the second term. Then we simplify. So first, the first term is x cubed plus 3x squared. So we simplify this first times 5y plus 3x times this is 25y squared plus 125y cubed. Then we multiply the remaining terms. So x cubed plus 15x squared y plus 75xy squared plus 125y cubed. Therefore, x plus 5, the quantity cubed, this should be 3. x plus 5, the quantity cubed is equal to x cubed plus 15x squared y plus 75xy squared plus 125y cubed. As you can see, this method is easier instead of using FOIL. Because if you will use FOIL method, you are going to multiply first x plus 5y times x plus 5y. Then you multiply the result to x plus 5y. So that will be a longer solution. Let's continue with the second example. So find the product of x plus 1, the quantity q. So the first term is x, the second term is 1. The cube of the first term is x, the quantity cube, plus 3 times x, the quantity squared, times 1, plus 3 times x, times 1 squared, plus 1 cube. Then, we we'll simplify. So this is x cube. This is equal to 3x squared. This is equal to 3x times 1 plus 1. And then, the final answer is x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. Therefore, x plus 1, the quantity cubed, is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. For the third example, we are getting the cube or difference of cubes. So, the sign of the second and last term will be negative. Okay, so here is our um, solution. So again, we square the first term minus 3 times the square of the first term times the second term plus 3 times the first term times the square of the second term minus the cube of the second term. Okay, simplifying further, this is equal to 8. This is equal to 3 times 4 times 3x. And then 3 times 2 times this is equal to 9x squared minus 27x cubed. Again, that is 8 minus 12 times 3x plus 6 times 9x squared minus 27x cubed. And we have 8 minus 36x plus 54x squared minus 27x cubed. 
that is equivalent to the cube of 2 minus 3x. For the last example, we have the product or we find the product of y minus 2, the quantity cubed. Our first term is y, our second term is 2, so we follow the same procedure. So we have y cubed minus 3y squared times 2 plus 3y times 2 squared minus 2 cubed. Then we have y cubed minus 3y squared times 2 plus 3y times 4 minus 8. Next, we have y cubed minus 3y squared times 2 plus 3y times 4 minus 8. The final answer is y cubed minus 6y squared plus 12y minus 8. Therefore, y minus 2, the quantity cubed, is equal to y cubed minus 6y squared plus 12y minus 8. So those are the important models and algebraic methods that we can use to have um, to easily multiply polyno polynomials. So instead of using uh, the FOIL method, you can use these models. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening.